I'm here at the old Boise building. I mean, we've got the post office behind me. We literally have cigarettes in here that are from the 50s and 60s. I mean, this place is brimming with local history and where we're about to head is no exception. And we've been here 23 years and we're always working on the railroad. This is Jim and he's the president of the Old Boise Model Railroad Club. It's actually magical like when kids come and they witness this, it's like their eyes start to sparkle. And uh, you're, and for myself, you just turn into a little kid again. This local club is a nonprofit dedicated to the education of model railroading. They have more than 50 scale miles of track with 220 switches and no intention of slowing down. It's taking honestly years and years to years to make this. Uh, a lot of the items that you see behind me, they're all from scratch. All these rocks are actually made from plaster uh, rock molds. All of the trees are from scratch. All the track is laid by hand. So it's a real focus to try to make, make all these special features. And why? Why do it? Because we love trains. The meticulous attention to detail the club takes to ensure that their displays correctly mirror what they're modeled after is very impressive. One of our train clubs member, Daryl Sterling, goes to the Nampa train yard, takes pictures with his cell phone of the graffiti on the side of the trains. The Puts actual graffiti? The actual graffiti on the real train at the oh Nampa my yard. Gosh, that's so Cool. Uh, and then he takes his cell phone files, puts them on the computer with Adobe Photoshop, shrinks it down to 1 one sixtieth scale, which is with the trains we run, prints out little decals of those, individual decals, applies the decals to the cars, and then weathers all the cars to make them look old. So it's real graffiti that looks like real train cars that's actually gone through the Boise Nampa area. From the base jumpers on Prime Bridge in Twin Falls to the Idaho Hotel in Silver City, everything is spot on. Well, almost everything. Over here, you probably just saw in the news that uh, Bigfoot sighting uh, by the trees coming through the wilderness. In our news? You know, are we <laughs> reporting on Bigfoot? Well, it's, it's semi-local. <laughs> Something I learned very quickly is that the displays here are filled with fun. So if you look at the, the, the business billboards, for a let us body. be your number one for your number two. Bowel Bros, uh, you know, uh, sanitation company. So there's a lot of that, those references. <laughs> there's also quite a lot of sets that really allow your imagination to run wild. Over here, there's a scene of a canine unit entering a oh. uh, residence, and out the back door, what do you see? The burglar with away. a bag under his, They're with all the jewels away. from the house, he's running away. So we'll see if the canine unit catches up to him or not. Where is this house with jewels? That's just <laughs> well, I'm thinking there's got to be some valuables, right? Members of the Boise Model Railroad Club work tirelessly to keep you engaged, and they even add their own flair to popular movie scenes. You probably saw Jaws years and I was years just, ago. Yes. So, so you can fun. see they so they caught Jaws. He's up there on the chain, and uh, you know they're all celebrating because hopefully he's not going to take anybody out. Mm. But as you keep going down, you can see Jaws's brother in the water. He about, did take someone out. Yeah, uh, you ready to munch on a poor lady on a uh, raft here? I so, enjoy the step stools for children as well as for myself. Get you to the right height. Oh my gosh, Jaws is gonna eat her. I could spend hours staring at all of the displays here. And Carl, the vice president of the Old Boise Model Railroad Club, says there's always something new to see. I've been here six years and yet every time I come down here, I still find things I didn't know were here. You can look at it and say, oh, that's nice. Or you can just be overwhelmed by it. You know, to me it's, uh, it's just a beautiful thing. The club has about 30 members that help contribute to all of the designs. What's nice is it's just not a bunch of old guys like me, but there's a lot of young people as well, men and women, kid, uh, girls and boys. Members say they hope you'll come enjoy all of their hard work or even consider joining their club if you share their passion for trains. So this place is locked up when we're not here, but the members will get a key and they, we also give them a code to the building so they can actually run trains at three in the morning if they want. So something that's really cool about the Old Boise Model Railroad Club is that you can actually control the trains yourself. So you're gonna look over here and this train says number 16 on it. There's an app you can download called We Throttle and all you do is type in the number of the train that you want to control. You hit set, you go to the throttle button, 
and you can make it go from there. It's so awesome. Reporting in Boise, I'm Sophia Dumani.